<laughs> Welcome back, guys. It's time for us to check in with Danny and Kate from Rewind 981 and 93.5 FM for What's Up This Weekend. Danny and Kate, hey, how are you guys? Hey. We're good. How are you? <laughs> We're, you know, I'm surviving. It's Friday, and that's always great news for me. The weekend's always perfect. Yeah, yes. The weekend. Unless you work two jobs, then it's just an extenuation of the week. Right. You're continually working. Right, so. right, right. But we're, we're weekend warriors here. So obviously this week was a big week in entertainment news. Of course, the huge story this week was the slap that was heard around the world at the Oscars with Will Smith and Chris Rock. So, Danny, you know, you're kind of our, our bald-headed, uh, our master here. You know everything mm. about bald head. Uh, so what do you think? What happened here? Was that... Uh, <laughs> was that G.I. Joe, Jane joke appropriate or not? Nah? Well, uh, as much as it angers my wife when anybody mentions my name, I've seen her, I've seen her threaten people and say, yes. take my husband's name out your mouth, really right? Territorial, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> um, I thought it was interesting. I mean, obviously, it's not okay. I, I, it was weird that it was even a debate of whether or not you, know, you should assault somebody on live television. Yeah, it's right. not really up for debate. Yeah, it was weird. And some people were like, I saw that uh, Tiffany Haddish said it was romantic. I don't know what, <laughs> what relationship you're in, Tiffany, but that's not romantic at all. So, uh, yeah, I was surprised he wasn't dragged out of there. If I was doing a comedy show and somebody came up and hit me, then they, then they would be at least kicked out if yeah. not arrested. Right. Um, so, I don't know. It was a weird situation, and it's a... Uh, it's really probably the the most, and I was looking this up because I was trying to think of any other scenario where a host had been slapped before. Right. And in fact, there was another time where this happened, and it was with Jimmy Kimmel and uh, Sophia Vergara. Vergara. Yeah. I always he, mess up her last he name. She made like an inappropriate comment, and he, she she slapped him it. in the face, right? But and then, then everyone was talking off. about, is that a joke? Yeah, what yeah. Right. Is, is it a bit? Mm hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And I think they would have thought this was a bit if he hadn't have sat down and then yelled all those profanities and got like really, really serious. Yeah, the escalation. So I think if, is if, what... if he just would have done it and sat down, and everybody, everybody would have been like, "Oh, it was a joke. It wasn't real." And then the, the background story would have been, "It was." Absolutely. It was actually real. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. So, well, you know, I think it's interesting because here we are and it's almost a week later and we're still talking about it. So it's obviously like made some day. sort of impact. Uh, I've heard both sides. You know, he was defending his wife and then the other side is just n no. And I don't know which way to go with it. I don't think that it was right the way that he went about it. Um, obviously, like we were saying, violence is not anything that's okay. I mean, if I had a nickel issue. for every time somebody made fun of me or made fun of my wife. Uh, we have a lot of nickels. We had a lot of nickels. So it's, you just got to you gotta roll with it. So it is what it is. Some people like you, some people hate you. I think if he was physically threatened, you know, like if that, then that's acceptable, right? Right. But but, but words, at an award show, I mean, you know, at a bar. Yeah, yeah, you can break a, cool, uh, a pool cue and threaten you or anything. But Absolutely. So, um, speaking of relationships, this is kind of fun. It is Friday. So they're doing First Friday. And I don't know if you've been to First Friday before. Have you been to First We've Friday before? We've covered First Friday. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love First Friday. And tonight, one of my favorite local bands, Cali Soul, is going to be performing right there in that alley behind Jerry's Pizza. And that starts at 8 p.m. And if you don't know what Cali Soul is, it's like a reggae band. So Ooh, it's nice. really cool. And since we lived in Hawaii, for us, it's a perfect date yeah, night. We like it. Yep, we get to go out. And right now, the weather is perfect. It's the, it feels like you're in Hawaii, minus... The clean air and the beaches. The breeze. And the breeze. Yeah, the blue, 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 blue view. Sky. The blue sky. Yeah. yeah. But and Hawaii everything nonetheless. Else. Hawaii nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> Just close your eyes. You're yeah, there. but there. almost. It's almost Hawaii. It's almost Hawaii. And there's going to be a lot of local businesses and vendors out there. So much food. And it's free to attend. So it's, it's a really good date night. And family night, too. Yeah, yeah and it's a great good, community good event. Out. Okay, and we've got about one more minute left. So I definitely want to touch on this Star Wars news here locally. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that. Well, yeah, Leilani and Ariel, uh, they're two sisters that live here in Bakersfield, and they got cast to be background characters in Disney Plus's new hit shows. Uh, it was uh, Bubba Fett. They were in that one, and they were also in Yeah. So yeah. really cool. I'm friends with them on Facebook, and I've been with this process, and they actually both played the Jawas, which were the ones that were in, like, the brown cloaks with the red glowing eyes. Um, and then they also played some other background characters as well. But that's more of a character than I ever played in Star Wars, so that's pretty cool. So it's going to yeah. be like a Comic-Con kind of event, and it's at a Stockdale High School, mm -hmm. and it's free admission. What's the time frame on that 10 one? 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's on the corner of Buena Vista and White Lane. So cool. you can uh, head on over there. It is free and get pictures with 
real Star Wars character. Absolutely. Well, you guys, thank you so much for coming on for What's Up this weekend. We'll see you guys next week. And uh, thank you all for joining in for another episode of Studio 17 Live. There's a lot of cool things happening this weekend. Make sure you follow us on Studio 17 Live and connect with me as well. We'll see you next time.